Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing another Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 3 leak that happened earlier today as of the time of recording this video. For those that might not be aware, the entire set of the Dragonian Storm Village, or whatever it's going to be called, has been leaked unofficially. The images are out there floating around the Ninjago community. The entire set has leaked. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show any images in the video itself, nor the thumbnail, but like I've said in a previous video, you can go on Instagram, punch in Ninjago leaks, and you can find these pictures pretty easily. And this set leak reveals quite a bit, including our first look at Moro, which we talked about earlier as well. Moro is 100% confirmed now for Dragons Rising Season 3, and his new minifigure looks pretty good. But something else that was leaked in this set is the new Evil J, which we have talked about prior in the form of set listings that appeared online, but now we have the actual full image, well, more or less. It's definitely not the best look at the new J. I imagine later images will be released of this set, maybe when this set gets revealed officially, that will give us a better look at the new Evil Evil J, but as of right now, we can kind of see what's going on. Again, not the best image ever, but it is technically our first look at the new Evil J for Season 3. Just from what I can see here, he uses the Rocks hat, except in a dark blue color, and he actually uses a dark blue half mask. In fact, a lot of the figure is in this dark blue color with a sand blue color as kind of the accent, along with gold armor, the same armor piece used on the Source Tournament Ninja. Very interesting design here. I can also see some red, it seems, on the torso print. But all things considered, this new Evil J, like a lot of the listings suggest, suggested will be more or less Forbidden 5 inspired, and that definitely seems to be the case just based off of this image right here. It does seem like Jay will be joining the Forbidden 5. He also does have a weapon with a lightning bolt on it, so I guess that's worth mentioning. He kind of has like a lightning sword. I think that could be cool to see in season three if he actually uses his elemental power to make some type of weapon. Would love to see that. But overall, I mean, for our first look at the new Evil Jay, it's okay, I much more prefer the design that we saw from Season 2 Part 2. I think that might be one of my favorite J designs that we've ever seen throughout the entire history of Ninjago. This one, unfortunately, doesn't seem to live up to that one. Though I will say, again, we don't have the best images of this figure as of right now, and I'm sure in later images, once this set gets released officially, we will get a better look at this minifigure and the other minifigures included in this set as well. But for the time being, that'll just about do it for my thoughts on the new season 3 J minifigure that was leaked. Leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments. What exactly do you think about this figure? And again, if you wanted to find these images, they are very easy to find over on Instagram. Just search up Ninjago leaks and you can find them there. In the meantime, guys, like I said, leave all of your thoughts down below and thank you so much for tuning in. That'll wrap it up for my thoughts here. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.